This is question 6 from the 2008 calculator paper. Here we are asked to find an expression in terms of n for the nth term of the sequence. So we're given these numbers 5, 8, 11, 14. We need to find out what the nth term is. Now the nth term is simply a formula that allows you to find any term in the sequence. So in order to find out what this is going to be, I need to first of all look at how am I getting from one number to the next? How am I going from term to term? And I can see here that I'm having to add on 3 each time. So I'm having to add on 3 to go from 5 up to 8, add on 3 from 8 to 11 and so on. So this tells me straight away that I'm going to have 3n as part of my sequence. Now we'll take a look at what that means. That means that this sequence here is like the 3 times table. And we're going to imagine that this is the first number in the 3 times table. This is the second number. This is the third number. And this is the fourth number and so on. Now, what I need to recognise is that whilst this is similar to the 3 times table in that I'm going up by 3 each time, it is not the 3 times table. So let's have a think about the 3 times table. Well, the first number in the 3 times table, 1 times 3 is equal to 3. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 3 times 3 and so on is equal to 9. And then 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Now, the first number is 3. The first number in my sequence is 5. The next number in my sequence is 8. The next number in this sequence up here is 11. And the last number is 14. Now, it's slightly different to the 3 times table. The first number in the 3 times table is 3. The first number here is 5. What am I doing? To each of what am I doing to the three times table in order to get up to the numbers in my sequence? I'm simply adding on two. And so, what I would say is that my formula to find any term in the sequence to find the nth term is 3n plus 2. And with this formula, and I know this is not part of the question, but we'll take a look at it anyway, I could, if I wanted to, figure out the tenth term of the sequence using this formula. So, for example, if I wanted to know what the tenth number in the sequence was, I could simply do 10 times 3, because we've said this is similar to the 3 times table. 10 times 3, and we want the tenth number, so 10 times 3, then add on 2, and that would give us an answer of 32. And if you want to, if you want to check if that's correct, I could, if I wanted to, just keep adding on 3 each time, and you'll see that that is going to be correct. OK, if you've got that question wrong and you need some practice at it, what I suggest you do is you pause the video now and attempt the questions on this page, then press play to see the correct answers. So, we're asked to find the nth term in the following sequences, 4, 7, 10, 13. So first of all, it's going up by 3 each time. So again, it's like the 3 times table, so I can say it is 3n. What am I having to do to the 3 times table to get to the numbers in my sequence? I'm going to have to add 1. So my formula is going to be 3n plus 1. Next up, 2, 8, 14, 20. I can see that it's going up by 6 each time, so it is 6n. So it's going up by 6. That means we're going to have 6n. It's like the 6 times table. But now, what am I having to do to get to each number here? Well, the first number in the 6 times table is 6. first number here is 2. I'm going to have to take away 4. Then, next one, it's going up by 7 each time, so it's going to be 7n. So it's going up by 7, that means I'm going to have 7n. So 7n, then first number in the 7 times table is 7, first number here is 3. To get to 3, I'm going to have to take away 4. So I get an answer of 7n minus 4. Next one, what's it going up by each time? It's going up by 8 each time, so that's going to give me 8n. Then the first number in the 8 times table is 8. The first number in my sequence is 8. And I can see that this is just the 8 times table. So my formula is simply 8n 